Got a full bag today on Jigs Bounty, yeah. It's June the 3rd, 2021. I'm in the garage. Let's get it going. My dog can have all she wants. Um, thank you very much for tuning in to Jake's Bounty. I am your host, Jake Hernandez. It, it is a Thursday morning, that's right. Um, actually, it is morning. It's not like uh, 11.30 like it usually is for me. It's 10.30. Come on up here, Mick. Let's go, girl. All right. So, I want to thank the music today that was presented by Dr. Hook with their song, Sharing the Night Together. I can't get out of my head. I keep on watching that movie, El Camino, and seeing Todd singing it um, while he's driving his uh, cleaning, cleaning lady out to some nice, pretty place to bury her. What a nice guy, right? Um, also, I want to go ahead and thank the sponsors today. We've got a live pro wrestling show. It returns June 26th right there. Hopefully, Philly, you guys can see it right there if you can't. You can go to their website, Best of the West Wrestling. Uh, it's called Only Slams, and it comes to Fresno, California on June 26th. That's right. And uh, opens at 6 p.m. And you can get there at 5.30 p.m. and just wait around and twiddle your thumbs. And the general admission is only $25, VIP $30, and kids 12 and under is $12, uh, $20, excuse me, not $12. Alright, so if you look like you're under 12, maybe you can only pay $20. Good things, alright? Go ahead and go to bestofthewestwrestling.tv, okay? This is a wrestling school in Fresno that has some pretty good stars out there um, on their roster. I think they have Chris Masters, Eli Drake. Um, I think they have, uh, what's his name, Eric Cobb. Is that his name? Uh, put in the comments below if I'm saying his name wrong, but it's something cop. The guy's a beast. He, I think he's Samoan. Um, anyway, let's go ahead right now and get to the show, why don't we? Uh, you saw me dancing with my bag of cans. I did very well today. So uh, let's go ahead and look at them, why don't we? Hold on one sec. All right, so we got this bag of cans right here. And... Uh, go through them. We got a 7-Up, Zero Sugar, right there. And we have Fruit Punch, Rockstar, 240 milligrams of caffeine because, you know, 200 uh, milligrams isn't enough. You know, I gotta have 240. Ugh. I'm going to work as a janitor. I need to be fucking fueled up and shit. Give me that caffeine. I want to clean shit. All right. Diet Doc, no, regular Dr. Pepper, excuse me, 23 flavors. Of course, who's checking, right? Mmm, I only tasted 22. I got I better write a letter. All right, we have Tecate right here. Found a few of these, had to empty them out. Good things. I found them in a bush, actually, about Motel 6. Uh, purified drinking water, here we go. And one Super Brain C4. That's right, Super Brain C4, performance fuel small. Uh, not small, smart energy, excuse me. Yeah, it's for small people. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna put these away. Uh, yeah, get back in there, you bitch. Okay, uh, put that down. And I'll show you what I found right now, but here's some more music, because I gotta go find it, it's in my room. Hold on. <laughs> Tomorrow 
It's this guy right here. It's a little piece to a uh, bong or bubbler, whatever you want to call it. I bet you can probably put some other drugs in there too and get a little toot. I'm going to use it for uh, my uh, play that I'm workshopping. Fuck you, meth. You ruined my life. I'll do a scene later on from it, all right? But right now, let's go ahead and go to the news. And nearly 1,500 people are out of power in Fresno this morning. Uh, it's happened at 6.40 a.m. this morning, southwest Fresno. If you live in the Church Avenue, sorry, it's bad enough, but now it's even worse. Because I, uh, if you live in the Church Avenue north of South Avenue, uh, near Elm and Cornelia Avenues, your uh, power may be out because of the hot, hot weather. That's right. Uh, not clear when it will be restored, but uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, really soon. Get some water, get some ice, just dump it over your head. All right. 17-year-old um, boy hospitalized. Uh, this has happened after a active shooter. Active shooter happened at 11:10 p.m. at Alamos and Marks Avenue. Uh, they are still looking for the suspect. They believe the argument happened uh, with the 17-year-old and the suspect, and then shots fired. And well, you know. Okay. Well, two found with gunshot wounds inside crash car in North Fresno, uh, Northwest Fresno. They hit a hydrant, and then after that, a telephone pole. Wow. Uh, this happened over there, Santa Ana Avenues and Shaw Avenues at 11 p.m., and they're still looking for the suspects. So, crazy, crazy, crazy things happen in Fresno, all right? Uh, update on the um, Cruz Hinoso case. Uh, this is a case that happened, well, it, it's happening now, but he killed two people three years ago at a tattoo shop, all right? And he worked at that tattoo shop. Here we go, a little rundown of the, what's going on now with the case. No death penalty and new twist in Fresno Tattoo Shop. Uh, this is a uh, murder case that happened back three years ago in 2018 when Cruz Hinoso, uh, employee of the, uh, see, let me see, uh, Fresh, Fresh Ink, that's right, Fresh Ink Tattoos. Uh, he came in there and shot his boss. Hopefully I'm saying this right. Pisa Exayapeth um, and Jesse Hernandez the third. That one's really easy because that's my last name. Um, his trial is set to be in September. So very uh, interesting case. Um, don't know all the details, but I'll bring you up to speed as more of it develops. Um, they have called off a search for a woman who may have been pushed or may have not been pushed into a canal. Um, they believe that she was walking around the area of uh, McKinley and Millbrook at 4 p.m. yesterday, and uh, some people thought she'd fell in, slipped in, uh, jumped in, and then it went to being pushed in. So we don't know as of yet. They have called off the search. Um, what they're doing right now is putting strainers in the canal. Um, so I big, uh, I imagine like it's a big colander, and they're just like straining out the water and. They find all the good stuff at the bottom, or find all the bad stuff in this case. Um, hopefully, she actually didn't fall in, and she, you know, got to safety, and we'll bring you more news as it develops, all right? Let's go ahead right now, and yesterday, I was able to do this very well, so let's try this again. I'm going to go ahead and look at Brain Games, that's right, CSI Brain Games. Yeah, I know you can get this at CVS Pharmacy, but you can also get this at Jake's Bounty for only uh, $10.99. I think at CVS you get it for $12.99, so uh, fuck them, all right? <laughs> but let's go ahead right now, and let's see if I can find something that's easy to do. Can you give the tree location a number of diamonds buried for each position? Okay, um... So, Ash Tree is in the park location, and the number of diamonds is five. 
Okay, that sounds too easy. <laughs> uh, let's see. No, I don't think that's gonna work out because I don't think you guys be able to see that. Um, fuck. Well, you'll just have to take my word for it. Brain Games has some great games. Um, but let's go ahead right now. And, uh, well, let's go to a Throwback Thursday uh, story. Yeah, it happened, well, maybe 18, 17 years ago. I don't know. But um, it was back in the summer. And it was a really foggy night for some reason and, and during the summer. And, um, and you guys are thinking, Jake, you're forgetting, right? You're, you're not remembering correctly. But I'm pretty sure it was the summer and it was really foggy. But anyway... We were uh, going to this one party, and uh, luckily we were just about there. And um, we were going to this guy's party we went to high school with. And uh, we didn't like the guy, but we start, you know, we thought we'd crash it anyway and see what was going on anyway. And um, so we got there, and the house was just packed full of people, and people that we knew from high school, people that we didn't know. Um, and they were trash in his house. I remember when we got inside, his uh, screen door had already been uh, taken off the hinges. And then um, I think there was like a bunch of dirt and crap on uh, his uh, recliner that could uh, massage your back and do other things. This was before all the massage chairs and all that shit. And um, I was like, what is this? Oh, it's a massage chair. I was like, well, why does it have dirt on it? Why not? We hate this guy. <laughs> Um, and then we also called in porn. Um, a whole bunch of people were calling in like uh, those, uh, what you, you got the TV on, right? And you select the pay-per-view channels and it's just the porn. And the guys are all doing that. They're stealing alcohol. They're stealing things of actual uh, value in the house. Me, I'm like, fuck it. I stole like a uh, pancake mix box, uh, this quick. <laughs> And then um, there's these fights that were kept on happening between these two girls, even though this one girl kept on winning. Uh, she was from Dinuba. I think another one was from Selma. And for some reason, that was a big deal. Like, oh, Dina versus Selma, you know, and they were fighting and the Dinuba girl kept on beating her up. But the Selma girl was scrappy. She kept coming for it, um, but she got her ass kicked. <laughs> and uh, it was just hilarious because Later on, I was really drunk, and I wanted to take a deuce, and uh, I went to the bathroom, and there was this uh, kitty litter box, just pristine, nice, you know, no clumps of shit in it at all, and then there was this toilet, and I was like, well, I could take a shit in the toilet, or I could be really funny and take your shit in the kitty litter box. So that's what I did. I proceeded to take the biggest, drunkest deuce into a kitty litter box. I don't know if you've ever taken a drunk dump, but it's a lot different than taking a regular dump. It's a lot more greasy and slimy, and it goes everywhere. It's not like a perfect shaped deuce, okay? <laughs> and I uh, did my best to wipe my ass and get out of there and still have the shit, uh, you know, contained in that little uh, kitty litter box. And I never did see his face afterwards, but I can only rem imagine what the hell he said when he saw it. What the fuck? And so parties and graduations and all those things are coming up. Just be responsible and have a good time, but know your limitations, all right? And uh, if you happen to uh, steal some Bisquick pancake mix, make some pancakes for me, all right? <laughs> Well, that's going to do it for us today on the show. I am going to show you a uh, scene from my play I'm workshopping entitled, Fuck You, Meth, You Ruined My Life. Um, but first, I want to say thank you to all the sponsors. We've got Best of the West Slam Wrestling. That's right. Only Slam Wrestling, excuse me. It takes place June 26th, and it will be in Fresno, California. All right? So check that out at Best of the West OnlySlams.com. We also have 101 Dalmatians here. Ray's Video. That's right, because Corella right now is out in the theaters. This is right now out at Ray's Video. 101 Dalmatians. We have Arctic Air. Now you can make your air really, really cool. All you got to do is put water in it, 
and it'll come out cool right in your face and you'll be like, oh shit, this feels great. Okay, and that's going to do it for us today. But tomorrow we'll be having Funky Friday segments. We'll be having my news, my balancing, so much more. So come back and join us. Right now we have some more of Dr. Hook. We're sharing the night together. And then after that, you'll see my uh, play that I'm workshopping called Fuck You Meth, You Ruin My Life. See you guys tomorrow. You guys be good to yourselves and be good to each other. All right, see ya. Jake's Bounty was filmed at Fornicate Yourself Records Production 2021. You can follow him on his Facebook page, his channel, his website. You ring that bell, leave a like, leave a comment, and please subscribe. Alright, where are you at, baby? We're sharing the dope pipe together, yeah. Sharing the dope pipe together. Sharing the dope pipe together.